best studio character with cloth inside Unreal Engine than making a cloth physics real time. So I already created this character to save some time. And regarding the plugin that you need to use from Dash Studio to Unreal, it has been already mentioned on my last tutorial. So you will get links and how to install and everything on that tutorial. I'm just gonna save time over here. So go to File, Send to Unreal Engine. I'm gonna name it uh, G8 toot everything is fine before you import go to dash studio and check if this is activated or not if not activate and then restart after that go to project settings scroll down to your plugin and dash to unreal tick this fix bones and zero root once you're done go to your dash studio and then export okay so it has been exported from that studio now it's importing inside unreal engine with some time okay so it has been imported as you can see you can ignore this one you don't need that and avoid this um, errors so double click all right go to your clothing tab right click create clothing data from section as you can see it's over there already right click again apply clothing So once it's done, click to activate cloth paint. As you can see, it's highly dense polygonal um, clothing. So you just need a small medium radius size brush. You don't need more than that. Th that's how I do actually. It's person to person varies. So let's paint. The white section will simulate the pink section, the purple section won't, or pink. Back, do the same thing. Double check if you're missing any parts. All right. So once you're done, just deactivate cloth painting. So you will see this kind of weird artifacts. Don't panic. This is just because of your physics asset. Yeah, I know. This looks weird. Nothing to do. I don't know why Dash Studio imports so many physics assets altogether. But you don't need everything. At least not for this model. Just skipping the major parts. Deleting the useless ones. We need to tie bend, keep the pelvis. Since we don't have any collision on the top, you don't need that. Just keep the head, remove the hands. Keep the head. All right. So we have four. So now what you need to do is just rotate 
according to your taste and uh, sl slim it down as you can see it's already reacting real time whenever you're doing this I'm just gonna fast forward this once I'm satisfied with the result then I can continue the rest of the tutorial okay so it's finally done this is the result of the collisions and I did I edited some over here just a density one and you know gravity a little bit scale 5 uh, to make it a bit heavy uh, let's make it 10 save it uh, let's check it out so yeah the secret of your plot simulation is all about the collision how, how much you're applying where you're applying and uh, what are you doing with it because um, it's a pretty rough demonstration how you want to do your collision uh, you can make a bit more detailed uh, you tweak it until you're satisfied with it so yeah this is pretty much a quick tutorial how you can import a studio character and model physics your cloth real time uh, i hope it helps and yeah that's all take care